people. But let me make a broader point on taxes, which is many times in this debate, Bernie has talked about providing health care for free from the government. You know what? The simplest principle in economics is Tonstoffel. There ain't no such thing as a free lunch. The liberal-leaning Urban Institute scored Bernie's health plan, concluded it would cost $2.5 trillion in the first year and $32 trillion over 10 years. Now, how much is that? Trillion is a big number. It's not clear what that is. Let me put it in perspective. All of the federal income taxes we pay today are about $1.5 trillion a year. $2.5 trillion means every one of us paying income taxes would have to about triple what you pay in income taxes to get an additional $2.5 trillion. Now, Bernie, no doubt, is going to come back and say, no, 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 none of you are going to pay, just the rich. Well, how about if we took every person that makes over a million dollars a year and confiscated 100% of their income, took every penny that they make, that would raise only enough money to fund Bernie's plan for five months. Here's another idea. How about if the government confiscated the assets of Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, and ExxonMobil? If it came in, illegally sold the, seized those companies and sold them, that would pay for one year of Bernie's plan. If you don't want to see your taxes triple, in addition to the wait list, in addition to the rationing, in addition to fewer MRIs and mammograms to worse care, then you don't want to see Bernie's Medicaid for all. You want to see cheap, affordable health care that you can choose that puts you in control.